I had this transformative experience where the, it seemed like the Jewish guilt and um, shame, like so a generational I, racial yeah, racial yeah. guilt and shame. And yeah. it started with me, you know, yeah. just dealing with that. And then there was so much available that I said, "Give it to me," because I could do something with it. It felt like it went out from me yeah. and included others. Yeah. And then what's happening after that, it's like all of the anger or the judgment, whatever's showing up now, I don't have to buy into it. But yeah. so, so then I don't know if now I'm denying, but it, it seems like an obvious impulse that I could buy into or not. Like yeah. my daughter doesn't want to be with me at Christmas. You know, I could go into that and feel really, you know, a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. But every time there's that impulse, it's like I let it go. Yeah. So I want to know the difference between actually processing what's there or actually making it show up just so I could process it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. good question. So yeah. does everyone understand what was going on there? What was happening is that she went through this transformative experience where the, a lot of the uh, oppression of the Jewish race, if you like, felt like it was in her, basically. The guilt, and, the guilt shame. and shame and all those emotions there. She went through and released that. There felt like there was a lot of other perhaps entities around you while you were experiencing that. You were, there were actually spirits there with you. It, it yeah. felt really good though. It was yeah. not a... It was... Yep. Yeah. And then what happened is she started realizing that a lot of negative things that were occurring in her life that she would have normally have bought into and responded very badly emotionally now she doesn't feel the need to buy into anymore. And it's almost like there's entities there that are willing to feed that, and I don't want it. It's like I'm going, hey, no, I'm Spot not on. doing that anymore. Spot on. Yeah. And um, what I'll do is I'll explain there's two facets to this. One is that what you've done is you've released an emotion that has allowed you to no longer buy into this racial prejudice projections and, and the response that you have of guilt and shame and all those kind of things. And so you've released that emotion, but there are still other emotions that are still there that you will need to allow yourself to connect to, but your motive for connecting to them now isn't the same. Your motive now is going to be, I just want this out of me, rather than I want to make your life hell. You know? yeah. There'll be a totally different emotion. Because it me. was the idea that I don't want to do this to myself anymore. Yes, yeah. That's awesome. Isn't it? Does everyone understand what's going on there? Let's say, again, here's our soul. We're releasing an emotion, right? There's lots of spirits around us, remember? They're all attracted to this emotion. Now, if there's racial prejudice type emotions inside of us, there'll be lots of spirits of that race also connected to us, right? And many times we have this automatic biting off different things in it, in you know, different negative experiences in our life, we bite them off because we have this emotion within us that I'm bad, I'm useless, I, you know, there's all these type of emotions in me that I want to defend. Now, the, the whole desire to defend your emotions is an emotion in itself. Does that make sense? Yeah. And many of you still find that sometimes, don't you? Like, you find that somebody criticizes you and you straight away want to get into the defense. Like the feeling of injustice rises up in you and away you go. You will need to actually release an emotion about that and when you do, you'll find the same experience as what's happened here and that is that you will no longer feel this urge to defend. There's no longer feel this urge to actually bite off the other person's interaction with you, but you will still need to process some emotions because the law of attraction is bringing those th that event to you. Does that make sense to everyone? So you will find that there's layers digging down into these emotions and what often happens is we bite off the defense of them which is actually like not helping us to get to the underlying emotions that, that will actually release from us. Yeah. So try to get away from this self-defense thing that goes on all the time. Yeah.